Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to walk you through my morning and night skincare routine. This is a routine that I've been using for the last few days and every once in a while I like to switch up my routine but I feel like I like to keep the same few staple products in my routine that I feel like work for me, work for my skin type. I have really oily acne prone skin so for me my biggest skin concerns is obviously any blemishes, breakouts, dark spots, and hyperpigmentation so I'm really excited to dive right in. Before we go ahead and get started a portion of this video is sponsored by Pharmacy. This is a brand that I've used and loved for years and years you guys should already know. I I do also have a discount code christine20 that i'll go ahead and leave right here and this is a new launch i'm actually really excited about i've been testing out for the last week and i'll go ahead and pop a little tiktok of my skin progress how much my skin has changed in the last seven days since i started using this vitamin c serum so this is the pharmacy 10 percent waterless vitamin c serum it helps you brighten and target any dark spots especially if you suffer from dark spots and hyperpigmentation like i do i think you'll absolutely love this so pharmacy used to have a cherry vitamin C serum that you guys know I actually wasn't super fond about and I've been testing this out and I really love it so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I'm going to show you my morning and nighttime skin routine and how I incorporate this in so let's go ahead and dive right in. So when I wake up in the morning sometimes when I'm really lazy I will actually just wash my face with water and apply the rest of my skin routine but I feel like my forehead has been kind of breaking out a little bit. It is warming up in LA so I feel like I need to do that extra cleansing and make sure that my skin skin is really really clean and I'm using the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash so I'll just grab about a nickel sized amount and kind of suds it up in my hands and then we'll start with the cleansing. So if you guys have watched any of my skin videos you should know by now that I cleanse for a full minute and it just makes sure that all of the ingredients really get deep into your skin and gives you that really deep cleanse. I actually really like this cleanser because it does a really good job of deep cleaning my skin but it's really easy to rinse off which is key and Brandon has been loving it. Okay, Whew. kind of got intense with the face washing. But after that I'm gonna go in with toner and I'm going to use the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. I actually use this as a toner. I can't even tell you how many bottles I've gone through of this, but this is just a really great like hydrating, soothing toner, especially if you have really sensitive acne prone skin. I like this as an everyday toner, but the pharmacy makes an exfoliating toner that is also really, really good. I just ran out and I need to get a backup of it ASAP. But next I'm gonna go in with eye cream. This is the Summer Fridays Light Aura Vitamin C and Peptide Eye Cream, you guys know. I love a good vitamin C and this eye cream has a really good like like lightweight but still hydrating texture. Okay, next up in my routine, this is what I'm the most excited about and this is actually the brand new Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. So it says here, this powerful waterless serum is formulated with 10% L-absorbic acid, the most potent form of vitamin C to visibly brighten, firm, and reduce the look of dark spots. First of its kind, this waterless formula allows for maximum stability and penetration. So this is actually a serum that you can use morning and night. I've been using it every single morning and it's gentle enough that it doesn't irritate my skin but this vitamin c serum is super liquidy and i actually really love that because i feel like it allows it to absorb really quickly into the skin and it almost has like an oily consistency because like the name suggests it actually is like a water-free formula which is really awesome because it gives me a little bit of hydration without feeling too heavy or greasy and especially if you have oily skin like me and you're worried about layering too much skincare and how it may affect your oiliness by the end of the day this serum is really nice because it absorbs really quickly and it gives me a lot of hydration without feeling like too heavy but I think if you have normal to dry skin you're really really gonna love this so you can see afterwards my skin looks bright and so glowy and after long-term use I actually have noticed a huge difference in my dark skin Spots. I feel like this blemish has been here for like three weeks at this point and needs to be paying rent 
okay? I have a lot of like hyperpigmentation around my mouth area as well, but I feel like with using this regularly, I feel like my skin tone is so much more even and bright. So I highly recommend this. I'm a huge fan of pharmacy. I love almost everything that they put out, but this one for sure has been something that I've been incorporating in my day-to-day -day routine and I actually see a huge effect. So I've been loving this. So since that serum gave me a little bit of hydration, I'm actually gonna use a lighter moisturizer than I normally would. This is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer and this is a moisturizer that I've loved for so long. I can't even tell you how many jars of this I've been through. And this is great because it has a really lightweight texture. Also, I did get my nails done recently, but I have a little like bummy one that I need to get fixed immediately. But I feel like my skin right now is pretty hydrated. So I think we might just skip that. But if you are a little bit more on the dry, normal skin side and you feel like you need a little bit more hydration, really, really like this one. And I like that it's oil-free because it just makes it super lightweight. But like I said, I have oily skin. I feel like my skin is already pretty prepped. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the moisturizer. So this is the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion. You want to give it a little bit of a shake and this is a really lightweight SPF you guys know I love testing out my sunscreens I wear sunscreen every single day even if I'm going outside if I'm staying inside you should know the whole spiel by now I have a video where I test out some of my favorite sunscreens I'll go ahead and link up in the corner but this sunscreen is great because as you could see, it blended out so quickly. It passed the two finger rule. It does have a light like alcohol scent, but I feel like that's the reason why it allows the sunscreen to absorb so quickly into the skin. There's no white cast or anything like that. And just like that, the skin is prepped for the day. I'm actually gonna be going out. My sister is in town with me right now. So we're probably gonna go out and explore little Tokyo today. So I might throw on a little bit of makeup, but I feel like because of the skin prep, whatever makeup I throw on top is gonna look amazing. and. This has been a day routine that I've been loving a lot and depending on how hot it is outside It'll determine how many serums and moisturizers I want to layer But because it is so warm I skip the moisturizer altogether and I feel like my skin is glowy and prepped And I don't even really need to put that much makeup on because my skin looks amazing, you know So that's my day routine. I'll see you guys a little bit later for the night routine. Hello friends, so right now it is around 11 p.m. and I just got back. It's been a long day and I've been wearing this makeup for a long time and I'm so excited to take this makeup off. Okay, first thing that I always go in with is an oil cleanser. This is one of my favorite oil cleansers of all time. This is a Pharmacy Green Clean and this is actually a brand new jar. I'm so excited. So we'll do the first scoop on here with you guys. But they came out with a new one. I think it was last year. This is the Clearly Clean. And it's supposed to be super similar to the Green Clean, but this one is formulated without any fragrance, but it also is supposedly better for sensitive skin. I've actually tried it a couple of times and I really, really like it, but to me, this one doesn't melt into an oil like Green Clean does. So I actually do prefer using my Green Clean and I have a brand new tub, so let's open it up. Ah, oh, yes. I'm excited. So this is kind of a lot. I don't usually take this much, but usually about a nickel sized amount and then kind of just warm it between my fingers and it kind of melts into an oil. And even on days when I don't have a full face of makeup, I still like to oil cleanse because I feel like it just does such a great job of melting off any of the sunscreen that I'm wearing. Just make sure that all of that dirt, grease, buildup is all rinsed off of my face. And I feel like an oil cleanser is great, especially if you have oily skin like me because oil attracts oil. So it just does such a good job of doing that first cleanse and then going in afterwards with a regular cleanser just makes my skin feel so clean and preps it for the skincare. You can really focus this around your eye area too, especially because I almost always wear waterproof mascara. So I really wanna make sure that I'm melting that off and this green clean breaks down into such an oily texture. I feel like it just gets everything off. Okay, now that that is all rinsed off, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of makeup remover. I've been wearing the most waterproof mascara lately and sometimes I feel like even double cleansing doesn't get all of it off. So I'm actually using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I really like this one, the blue. I feel like it does a better job of taking all of my makeup off. I've been using reusable bamboo rounds for a really long time and I really enjoy them. At this point, I have like 
a big little stack of them and I just cycle them through the laundry whenever I do my whites and I really enjoy those. Then going in with my toner, I'm using the Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner. This is one of my favorite toners of all time. I've been through now like this is my second one and I need to get a refill soon but you just shake it all up. It contains chemical exfoliant so it helps to lightly exfoliate your skin but it also has really hydrating ingredients in here as well. So I just go in with my hands and pat this into the skin. And if you like using cotton rounds or bamboo rounds, you can go ahead and use that. But I just feel like with my fingers, I just don't waste as much product. Okay, and then since I have been breaking out so much, I'm actually gonna go in with my pharmacy 10% waterless vitamin C serum again. You can actually use this AM and PM, and it's great because we just wanna target some of those dark spots that we have. So it's really liquidy. I'm gonna go ahead and pat that into my T-zone, just wherever I'm having a lot of issues. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly apply that throughout. And this serum, you wanna make sure that you apply it before your moisturizer so you can really let the ingredients like absorb into your skin. <sighs> There's like no better feeling after a long day of doing your skincare and just doing all these last few steps before you can get into bed all nice and clean. Finishing off with an eye cream. This is a pharmacy do-it-all eye cream. I have like very little of this left, but I have it in the back of my cabinet because I'm trying to preserve it for as long as possible. But I think I need to just use it all up so I can get a refill. After this video, I think I'm just gonna reorder some of my pharmacy empties. Um, but this eye cream is really great because it's so lightweight. It absorbs so quickly and it looks great with and without makeup. And it's just like a really great everyday morning and nighttime eye cream. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. Then I'm going in with the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is one of Brandon's like favorite moisturizers of all time and the packaging magnetic low spatula is genius this moisturizer is very very hydrating so for me i can only use it at night or in the winters when my skin is really really dry i can get away with using it during the day it has a really light honey smell that's really nice okay almost done last step is blemish cream this is the dermalogica clear start post breakout fix I had this blemish right here and it was bothering me so much that I literally popped it like at dinner. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and dot it on there. Any other breakouts I have just to help dry them out a little bit more because I don't want those growing. Quick little lip oil. This is the skin lip oil. It's really nice and hydrating and this is the finish skin. I feel like it is very glowy, feels very hydrated and after I wake up in the morning my skin is just going to look so much more radiant, bright and with time this is a routine that really helps my skin look better and better and that way I feel like I don't even need to put that much makeup on and I can just throw on a little bit of brow, mascara, and I look great, I feel great, I get compliments on my skin which is always the best. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and I do have a discount code for pharmacy that I'll leave right here. It's just Christine20 that gives you 20% off your total purchase which is such a great deal. This code never expires so save it for a rainy day. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I talked about down below and that is all for my morning and night skin routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and big thank you to Pharmacy for sponsoring a part of this video. But anyways, that is all for today. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!